Hey guys, Dylan from Jingo Inc. here. Wanted to make a quick video. Yes, I know the ammunition has went up in price. It's the election year and this pandemic stuff's really happening. There's been shortages of ammunition. I get that. But there's a lot of things in this walk of life that haven't went down at all. All right, and they've been the same price for years. So this may be the time to start taking advantage of some of those deals. Um, before we get outside of ammunition, there are some patterns that I've seen going to gun stores, looking at online pricing, um, just being in this industry as a whole. And that is shotgun ammunition has not went up. Okay, so you got your 12, 16, 20 gauge. I have not seen any of that go up in price and I have not seen any of that um, become a shortage at gun stores. The, the shelves are always full when it comes to bulk 12, 16, and 20 gauge. And, uh, you know, practicing with birdshot and then using buckshot for slug and slugs and stuff for actual go time stuff works great. Another thing that I really haven't seen too much of a shortage of, a little bit more so than shotgun ammunition, but not as much as 9mm, 5.56, those basic staples, is 22 LR. Now, I'm not a huge fan of using 22 LR for actual serious critical kind of use. But uh, you could buy 555 bricks of it all day at every gun store I've been at. So, um, and I haven't been in a gun store in like bigger cities and stuff like that. So it might be a little different. I might be speaking a little out of line. But for your more rural areas, like what we're at, stuff like that, and what a lot of a lot of my viewers are at, 22 LR is a, a definitely thing. So if you do want to get out to the range and you do want to get some reps in, 22 LR should be able to work for you. Now, kind of getting out of the ammunition thing go ahead and move over to reveal this list there's a couple things that um haven't went down like haven't went up in price haven't adjusted price and there's not shortages of them that you could be spending your money on towards okay number one primarily is medical equipment medical equipment is one of the most neglected pieces of equipment pieces industries of equipment that people in our walk of life fail to get okay tourniquets hemostatic agents pressure ba pressure bandages gauze gloves just all this other kind of stuff even basic first aid is stuff that's very neglected okay if you don't have something to plug a hole it's you know you're making hole equipment isn't going to work this soft t wide tourniquet is one i carry all the time i've been carrying it for about two three years now um the, these are 23 dollars two years ago and they're 23 dollars right now if you go on there i mean they they did not go up in price and it's a great piece of piece of gear to have on you okay uh, medical equipment does not go down dry firing is free if you do want to get those repetitions in those good draw strokes stuff like that um, dry firing is free it doesn't require any ammunition you could do it anywhere it's very 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 easy and I couldn't recommend it more training um, now I know a lot of people say well I know training classes haven't went up in price but the ammunition and all the stuff that requires you to do training has went up fair enough but there's a lot more training than just firearms training in this in this way that we that we live um, aka there's trauma response classes uh, there's uh, all, all kinds of other classes that don't technically require ammunition stuff like that there's self-defense classes when it comes to just hand-to-hand -hand kind of stuff uh, there's training out there that doesn't require you to to use your ammunition or your firearms or anything firearm related period but that can help you even if it's survival seminars and stuff like that bushcrafting and all that that's something that we can get into uh, next thing is gear. Um, not a big gearhead, but also at the same time, if there are any kind of accessories or any other kind of things that you would like to get for your rifle, pistol, shotgun, your everyday carry gear, stuff like that, um, and you don't want to spend 75 cents for a round for 223, I completely understand trying to enhance your palette of gear that you have on you. As long as it's purposeful, it's not just some shiny monkey fist or whatever they have now. Um, that this is a good time for that and I haven't really seen a lot of accessories inflate in prices for optics and uh, lights and stuff like that at least in the online market I haven't really seen any inflation in prices there so that might be a time for you to uh, instead of spending the money that you normally would on ammunition you could spend it on stuff like that to kind of just enhance your efficiency when it comes to your gear okay um, and last but not least emergency provisions now you might think that medical equipment is emergency provisions and it kind of is but what I'm saying when I say emergency provisions is kind of more like um, the bushcrafting side of things so stocking up on food stocking up on water procurement do you have enough things do you have something to start fires do you have something 
Um, do you have antibiotics, stuff like that? Well, that kind of falls in the medical, but things for your household. Do you have a generator? Do you have um, enough gas cans to last? Do you have enough food to last your family an entire year? Every week when I go to Walmart or when I go shopping, I get one of those Mountain House dehydrated meals and I just stock up on it and I'm just building two. They expire in 2050, so I have plenty of time. Um, but that's another thing that I have not seen go up in price. Uh, now, I could be wrong on a couple of these things, and people, like I said, in bigger cities, they may have done that. They might, may have seen increases in prices, but so far, I have seen none of this go up in price. Okay? If you guys do have any questions, comments, concerns, you want to come out for our medical or firearms training, uh, feel free to visit us at jingoinc.com or contact us at info at jingoinc.com. I'm Dylan from Jingo Inc., and always remember a society is only as good as their lethality under voluntary control.